Game Welcome Bros. back to Mega Man X. The game, oh, yeah. The game we were always supposed to play, let's be real. Yeah. I think actually this was originally... This was one of the three. It was going to be Mega Man X. Uh, Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid and uh, Star Fox. Yeah. But then we changed to Wild Arms, which was a big mistake. <laughs> Was it? Yeah. It was great. It was great. It just was a it was a tough time. We might be three times the size now. That's true. <laughs> Yo, uh Ted, play the OC Remix ska version of this just for a few seconds. Take out the audio and and play it. It's so fucking good. So Armor and Armadillo is called Armor Armarga. Armarga? In Japanese, um, leader of the Eighth Armored Battalion. He's rough and gritty, just like his hard exterior suggests. <laughs> uh, and even though Sigma has taken control of the Maverick Hunter Battalions, he fervently obeys orders from all commanders. Wow, he's respectful. I like that. Yeah. Crazy. Very respectful. Very respectful. Uh, it's possible to skip the refight with Armored Armadillo in Stage 3 of the Sigma stage by charging Shotgun Ice up and then using the Ice Sled to zip X into the boss door without hitting an invisible trigger that forces the camera to scroll all the way up. If you do it right, the fight won't be triggered and the opposite door will open as if he was defeated. Wow. Yeah. However, jumping will still trigger the fight, and if X starts entering the next section after the fight begins, in that case, Armored Armadillo's sprite will glitch out. That's crazy. Pretty That'd be crazy. crazy. Uh, it is also possible to hit him with the electric spark without making his armor pieces fall off. Uh, if you hit him right before he curls up into a ball, uh, which is something that you can do easily by releasing the charge shot. Yeah. Immediately. Physics! Uh, also the beams that he fires look exactly like Hadoukens. So there you go. Even though you get a Hadouken in this game if you get everything. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Does Mega Man say Hadouken? Is that a memory that I made up? No, he says that. That's Hadouken. so. That's so funny. He doesn't say it in the rest of the games. No. This boss, for me, is one of the hardest to defeat in a Buster only run. Yeah, he's pretty tough. Buster only Mega Man X run is one of the funnest, like, casual beatings of a game that you can do. Just the right amount of challenge. Fun fact, Frazier and I, the first time we ever hung out. Fun fact, Frazier. Fun fact, Frazier. Horn out for Frazier, everyone. Be Rose Homework. Oh my god, yeah. Send everyone us, at Frazier Dean. Tell him we love him. Yeah, and miss send, him. Him a, send him a vine of you pouring out a full 40 ounce beer. Oh my god. Sleepy Evie's the only one's gonna do that. Let's just for real. him. Just gonna what? be Sleepy. It's Sleepy Evie's the only one's gonna do that, so. Dude, prove us wrong. <laughs> I want to see Sleepy Eevee do it, don't get me Look, wrong. I love Sleepy Eevee. But I, I want everybody to do it. Alright, so next on our list, we have three monsters left. We're going to go to... Launch Octopus? Launch Octopus. Alright. Um, what was I going to say? So, the first time Frazier and I ever hung out, we are working on our voice movement uh, midterm project. Sure. And uh, after we were hanging out with our group at my apartment, I was taking Frazier home... And Frazier was getting out of my car, and he was like, and I kind of was like, yo, Frazier, are you doing anything right now? He's like, no, I'm just probably going to sit and play video games. And I was like, you play video games? He's like, yeah, do you? And I'm like, dude, best game of all time is is Mega Man. And then before I even finished saying it, he said X. And I was like, and then you guys kissed. And I was like, get in my car. We're going back to my apartment and play Mega Man X. You guys kissed on and the so lips. And so we played Mega Man X from 11 in the, in the evening to like 9 a.m. the next day. Buster only? Buster only, completely out of order. We tried to do... Backwards. No, you know what it was? We, we, and we, it took me an hour, because I wasn't very good back in the day. I was very rusty. We did, uh, it was fucking Sting Chameleon, no power-ups, nothing. Jesus. Just vanilla fight against him. It's tough. It's not easy. Sting Chameleon is a nasty little bastard. He's so hard. Um... So, Launch Octopus's whole deal is that he's, like, obsessed with beauty. He, like, wants to do a, like, graceful job winning fights. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, he's also called Launcher Octopold. Rancha Octopardu. Parudo. Rancha Octopardu. 
This is probably the one of the harder harder moments in the game right here. Uh, ocean stage, sea stage, subterranean base. All names of his stage. Pretty cool stuff. Launch Octopus has a short appearance in the opening animated cutscene of the CD-ROM version of X3. Where X causes That's uh, true. the thing to crash into him. Uh, which destroys them. In the US box art for Mega Man X, Launch Octopus is purple instead of red for some reason. That's and he has true. a mouth for some reason. No! Whoa! <laughs> Uh, in Mega Man Extreme 2 for the Game Boy, even when he, uh, when you get his tentacles off, you will have, he will, like, get him back when he dies, weirdly. Uh, he doesn't say Vile's name during his dialogue in the PSP version when it's Vile mode. Um, weird, weird, like, editorial trivia. Launch Octopus's personality in Mega Man Maverick Hunter X is strikingly similar to that of Alec Man in Mega Man Powered Up for the PSP. <laughs> I don't know how accurate that is. You're going to just have to judge for yourself. Question of the day, how accurate is that? Um, and in the PSP version, he's the only one who talks to X in, in, the, in the Sigma stage. But he doesn't, but he's like a robot instead of him, himself. Like they like reboot him basically. And he's like, just like, yeah. Sick. Yeah. 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 I love how some of these bosses are just so fun. It feels good to kill things, like, really well. You know what the I mean? The sounds that everything makes when it gets blown up is good in this game. The, like, Super textures, gratifying. All the different, like, like that it's like... <laughs> like, a lot of sounds happen, like, when you kill stuff. It feels really satisfying. These guys are my favorite. You just jump and they die. <laughs> what a weird robot design. Yeah. Be like, launch octopus, like, yes! Get eaten. No! What are you doing? Stop jumping! <laughs> you popped my robot! You popped my robot? It's the new battleship? You popped my robot! Dude, he looks kind of shitty compared to the other ones. You are going down. <laughs> that is actually great, though. Now, you can't see now, um, but when we get the uh, Boomer Quanger weapon, we will cut off his arms. Yeah. That's what I was saying, in Mega Man Extreme, if you do it, when he dies, he just gets him back, weirdly. Like, in the, in the death animations? Yeah. Like, they just only have one set of sprites for it, or something. Like, that sound is a really good Super Nintendo sound, that, like... Also, that explosion, that, like... Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes! More like suck octopus. Am I right? Am I right? Up top, up top, we game. Uh, we gamers. We're gamers. Hey man, I'm well, a gamer. Dude, me too. Yo man, I'm on the wikia. <laughs> yeah, dude, you made it to the Mega Man wikia. I acknowledge you, wikia. Thank you. Sick. Uh, was, All right, are we done? Yeah, we're we done. We did two. Yeah, we did two. Man, time did. flies when you're having fun. You want to do another one? Another one? Yeah. Fuck it. All right, fine. We'll do one more. Uh, we'll start with, uh, Boomer Quanger. Boomer Quanger. What the fuck is a Quanger? Welcome we... to the joke of that episode, my friend. Uh, a Quanger is a beetle. All Japanese right. beetle. Alright, well, there you go. There you have it. Very weird to fight a beetle, though, but a, it's very... It's like a centipede kind of looking character. Yeah. This, this level as a kid was one of the worst for me. This one reminds me of an old Mega Man level. Yes. It very much is a throwback level. Yeah. Um, Boomer Kowenger in Japanese, his nickname is the Space Time Jumper. What? Cutting Iron Demon of Space Time. Uh, yeah. He has no sense of justice or evil. He joined Sigma's Rebellion as a decision he arrived at after analyzing the case rationally. Pretty crazy. I don't know what that means. Power Stage or Fortress Tower? The word Kuwanger comes from the word Kuwagata, which is Japanese for stag beetle. So it's a stag beetle. Yeah, it's a beetle. 
He was one of the. He was the this only is the worst one. Stage right here. He was the only one of the eight uh, Mavericks from Mega Man X that wasn't renamed, but he was renamed Boomerang Koanger in Maverick Hunter. Boomerang Koanger. Yeah. He's not called Boomer Koanger. So that. doesn't make any sense. Uh, doesn't he shoot his little thing off the top of his head? Yeah, but like Boomer, I, I get that's a boomerang. Yeah, but like Quanger still isn't a thing. It's a Quangata. Stag beetle. <laughs> I got that. I, yeah, I, I don't know. know. I get I, it. Yeah, yo, I don't know. No, I'm, uh, I'm with you. Boomer Quanger has a brother. What? Yeah, Gravity Beetle. Gravity Beetle's related to Boomer Quanger? Yeah. They're related? Yeah, uh, there's only These one- These robots are related? Yeah, I guess. There's only one other, uh, Maverick that is, uh, has a relative. Okay. That is Launch Octopus. Who's this? Who's this? Who is related to Squid Adler. From, uh... What the fuck video game is this? So, Alex, uh, when you were a kid, did you know about this? The one- X5. Do you know the- 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 this, the whole thing about this, 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 what? How to get this? No, I didn't. I was a Sega Genesis kid. Okay, so when I was a kid, and this is like a thing that most most people like. I guess my friends never knew this. Sure. I didn't know. You were like the guy. That, yeah. So usually, what I do in this stage for Boomer Quanger is I defeat Boomer Quanger, come back and use his weapon, which is a boomerang, to, to get, go this. get it. Which is probably what you're supposed to do. No, it's not actually. Okay. The way to do it is to use the charge up of Chill Penguin and jump. Oh. Pretty fucking get... crazy, huh? Weird. I had no idea as a kid to do that. I've never even... I don't think I've ever used that charged Chill Penguin weapon. The Chill Penguin weapon for years as a kid to me was like, this is the stupidest one. It's this the is worst you just one. Beat, you but just it's, beat it's, Spark Mandrel with it. Yeah. And then you just get on with your life. Right. And then you get... Like, you, there's never no use need it again. to like, yeah. use that that sled in any moment in the game, but that's the one actual use for it. And apparently glitching that fucking level, but who knows. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we're gonna easily, uh... Just... This, the beating... Quinger is also a piece of shit. He's very easy to beat. This was a joke in the episode as well, but look. We're gonna kinda show it off right now. <laughs> it's cause he has, like, a lock stun, like... Oh, yeah, and it's homing weapon. He looks like he's doing pretty good against you right now. Oh, uh, most of the damage came... Right. ...like, before I showed up. He looks like, uh, not Brack. What's the other guy? From, uh, Space Coast, Coast to Coast? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, what's his name? Zorak? Yeah, Zorak. Yeah, Zorak. He looks like Zorak. Zorak wins. <laughs> not Zorak my house. wins. Dun 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 <laughs> Alright, next to my beer bros, we're gonna knock out Stink Chameleon, do some, uh, things here and there. We have, we have, up. we still have some stuff we need to we do. We have one stage left, one, or four Sigma stages. Yep. Uh, game Hadouken, which requires one or two revisits, and then we're moving on. Yeah, see you guys next time, bruh. Next time, bye bye Bye.